satire. That's not this essay. This essay is not going to begin by saying, today I am going to write a piece of satire in which I argue that if, to solve the problem of homeless children, we should eat them. No, 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 no. We're never going to say out loud what the project is. So that when it's read, it's very possible early on that the reader won't understand you are being satiric. I'll give you a classic example. A student of mine went away to the uh, military, came back. He was going to college. He decided to go to the University of Colorado Boulder, which is somewhat liberal school, and he was put into his first classes. He happens to show up for his 1010 English writing course, and the woman walks in with the shaved head, and he immediately realized, oh, no, she was a militant, you know, kind of uh, feminist, etc. The first essay was, pick a topic about which you feel committed and write about it. His essay was, women need to be in the house, barefoot and pregnant, washing the dishes. <laughs> and he went through tremendous detail of all of this. And he wrote this essay. He comes back. She calls him to the front of the class of 70. And she basically guts him in front of the group. She could not believe that he had these Stone Age ideas. Where are you from? Wyoming. That explains it. <laughs> and, then, and then she throws him out of the class. You will leave. You're taking an F on this class if you don't drop it now. And he said... I will, but let me make two observations. One, I thought the University of Colorado Boulder believed in free speech and wanted to celebrate it. Don't I have a right to say whatever I want to say? And secondly, have you ever heard of satire? No, of course she has, so she's like... She, oh. He just turned and walked out of the room, leading all of the students to kind of go, yes. You know. <laughs> That's the point. Sometimes satire will not be completely embraced or understood, and that's kind of the gamble, which is why I recommend that you not publish it in a magazine that will be read by 3,000 people, you see. Uh, it's kind of dangerous to do this, just like it was dangerous for Swift. Hello, just like it was dangerous for Chaucer to do it. Now, Swift has another example of satire. It's even more brilliant because it's so beautifully clothed, and that's his Gulliver's Travels, where he tells the story of this guy that goes on all these adventures, but right behind his child story, adventure story, there's this whole realization, oh, wait a minute, we're playing a game of nasty satire here about the English people. So as you read and prepare for the exam over Swift's uh, Gulliver's Travels, make sure you're asking, what is satiric? What is satiric or what am I supposed to be understanding? All right, come back on, uh, what, Monday.